broadcast live. I feel that a lot of you guys are actually walking what I go through it day by day because here's another thing. Um, it's easy for me to say that there was no culture of content creation. There was no culture of blogs. You know what I mean? And 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 um and and brands are not looking for the person who has the big vision for what they want to do in the world of culture brands are looking for the person that's raking the numbers in the world of content do you know what i mean but a person say and i'm speaking about myself a person like myself where i go i will get in a room with the brand and say oh i use example like th with versus with gemini and everything else well, I'm saying verses. You know what they were doing with Gemini and Tweezy. Literally, there was an idea like that, and and it was presented. It, it was an idea that Swiss and them was doing. But I presented it to 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 the brand, and they're like, "Just do your own show, just whatever." And I said, "Nah, I see Gem and Tweezy are in it. If we can rope them in and pay them, you know what I mean? Because." Because I'm not, a, even myself, I'm not a, I can't be an appropriator and do, because I could do my own. Yo, let's book speech, speech this place. Let's call Act 1 and Act 2. Let's go up against each other. For me, it was important. I spoke to Jude. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> do that. Please, yeah. please do. Get your, have a slicker on life, whatever. Come do it here, please. Any, anytime. Sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah. But what I'm just trying to get to is that, like, you know, um, even with us, there are rules of not, of not appropriating. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the problem with us, though, in the culture, we like misappropriating ourselves. So I like going, nah, speedster, fuck speedster. And that's what's also killing us in the game. Is that like when the, the, like someone is trying to sit in front of a brand and they're not trying to give the juice to the real person who has the vision. They're just copying the real person and they so happen to be in the brand's radar and they're not going to give that credit because they're scared of losing something, you know? I started fucking swearing and going crazy after the Hip Hop Awards last year. I just felt like I was robbed. Fucking, I don't know, Vane went six times plaque. I, I got four plaques last year. I'm on the biggest fucking music show in, 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 in the country. I had countless, I was like, you guys, back to what you say, you're going to popularity. Do you know how many fucking times I stand in front of 20,000 people playing hip hop in an I'm a piano world where people are staring at me like Spista's playing like shit because I'm playing hip hop. You guys don't credit, I was so mad. I want to get into detail. That's when I started saying fuck everything because I've, been, I've always been a nice guy. Ah, oh, Spista's a nice guy, whatever. That's when I was actually like, go fuck yourselves. You guys, I, I work hard, dude. I work really, really hard, you know? And, and, and for, for, for me, for a platform like the South African Hip Hop Awards to discredit or to not even see the work that I do really, really hurt me. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm, I'll tell you straight, I didn't even submit for the Hip Hop Awards this year. I was like, go fuck yourselves. Like, actually go fuck yourselves get a new crew get something new because you you guys are clearly like a bit dizzy you're very dizzy actually not a bit you're very very dizzy yo man speech the venting you know yeah dude i work hard slick like even with what you're seeing here this has never been this has never been seen before by a south african hip-hop dj in this country don't take that lightly you know, and I, I'm, not, I'm not saying from an arrogant place. I'm just saying, don't take it lightly, dude, because it's not easy to do this. It's not. You know, it's, like you're, it's not easy to sell records. Yeah. That's why I'm just saying, you know, um, when we start getting out of, the, and I mean, and I'm not even talking about brands now. I'm talking about us as creatives. When we start getting out of the, the, the culture of, of um, seeing what Speeds is doing, and when he does this, I want to jump on it. Yeah. Uh, and if he and, and if he trips, I'll literally like do it better. And so we also need to stop that thing of misappropriating, and we need to start giving credit to where credit is due. Because while we're doing that, we're recording history. Because tomorrow another kid is gonna come and have two or three, another DJ, no, well two or three, and then they're gonna say I'm the first, and no one is gonna say no. Speeds is the first. You know what I mean? Because we not we don't have each other's back also. We, we, our industry does, do, doesn't appreciate you when you're on your own journey, when you're doing things your way. They want you to do it a certain way. So everything must be done in this way. That's when we know you are the mega. And it's like, no, I am, I've always been an outcast. I do things my way. It may not be the way you like it, but I do it my way. And if you look at it, it's, 
you, you, you know, it's, it's, you can't compare anything to it. Like, understand that. And, and don't take that away. You can't take, that away. You can't take these away from me. That's, that's why I say, like, well, you, you can't take these away from me. But we know, the people that know, know the truth. Look, man, shout out for everything. And uh, I think that in closing, um, the, only, the only thing that I, I want to leave with is that, um, and, you know, people might not like this, but um, also when we are in it, when we're creating content, we must be careful of um, creating content that actually puts us, pits us against each other. We must be careful of saying things that pit us against each other. Because um, I promise you, um, as much as the whole podcast team, the whole Slick on Live team, the whole like guys that are on Channel O, the whole Fat Joe, whatever, Live M crew, whatever, RGB. The, the thing is that, like, as a unit, we really, like, although we also, like, a bit, like, cutthroat with each other, we're safer with each other than siding with people that don't even understand what's happening in our space. Do you know what I mean? And, 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 I, and I say that, and that's why I, when we do what we do, we do it because even there's some people who are assholes, like artists, industry people, who are, they're assholes. But at times I feel I'm safer with uh, that asshole and knowing my distance than a person who says they're a fan. And the way they got to prove that they're a fan is by saying, nasty C sucks because A. Reese is dope. Do you understand? Um, automatically, those guys literally are, are, are starting the energy of individuals pitting against each other. And when we buy into that hype and start literally like amplifying that type of content, um, that's when it becomes a problem. Because truth of the matter, if I had to see Speedster stuck in the road or Speedster going through some stuff in life, and I was aware of it because we don't like showing it, I'll be the first to not like, ha. <laughs> Big, I mind. I need to let now. Can I literally yo be? What's happening? Of we are safer with each other, even though we don't have a lot. I so said the same thing to me um, after my tweets the other week. We had a long conversation, and and he was saying to me, he's like, the only thing he didn't like is that these. Um, so he said to me that there's a group that's been formed against him which are out to get him on Twitter and tweet and, and try and compare him to Costa Tech and get him to kind of, you know, give in and start swearing, whatever, and he's not going to do that, you know. And he was like, I was kind of adding fuel to that, you know. And I, and I made him understand. I said, dude, I don't understand these Twitter things. I don't understand these Twitter things, you know. Me and Zuchi had a long conversation where he, where he said to me, he said, Speedy, let the fans get the music. Let's, let's not talk anymore on the socials. Oh, my God. Let the fans get the music, let the fans get the content, let's, let's not talk anymore on the socials. Bro. I said, Zuchi, you my guy, no problem, you know. Bro. That's what he said to me, because the problem, what, what happens is you have the fans creating their own things. So you have Costa fans creating, I think about Casper's fans, and then you're in the middle of that, and it's, it's all like a vicious, a very, very vicious cycle. But like you say, let's keep it real. What, where, where does this nasty C thing start from? It's, it starts from the, the battles. Dimples and I had a battle. Uh, fun, you know. Oh, the, 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 the catalog battles. Yeah. Catalog battles, fun. And then Dimples played Boz Zonke mm. in the battle. And then everyone was like, why are you playing Boz Zonke in the battle? Then Dimples was like, no, the song was supposed to be his. And people were like, hey, wait. Yeah. Me protecting Dimples, my guy, I go on the pop quest and I'm like, yeah, it happens. Bam Bam was supposed to be mine. And I told Nasty can keep it. That's literally where it started. Then he came, right, you capping, capping. And even in the Mac G interview, we speak about it. People, what, they, what, these, what these kids used to do is they take the one minute clip of just that and they put it on the internet. And then you have a Nasty C responding and saying, fuck you, you capping. One of your Mac G responding and saying, fuck and they didn't watch the whole show. So they don't have context. They just take those one minute clips. And that's how it started. And in the beginning, I mean, it was, it was a bit weird. I was a bit wrong as well in my responses or whatever. But then it just carried on and on and on and on. Then I got to a point where I'm like, fuck you. Like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. You know, that those, those, those are my exact words. Like, go fuck yourself. If you're going to think that you can't, you know, because I tried to reach out to them. I tried to call them. That's what I was about. 
you know, for weeks. If you're going to think that you're not going to at least try and return my call, but still go back on the socials and talk shit, fuck you. Now it's going to get personal where I'm going to say, go fuck yourself, you're a little kid, you know. And at that point, like, I was literally, I was like, I'm, I, I, I call my friend, I said, I'm going for the kill. What I mean by that, go for the kill. I don't care who fires me, I don't care whatever, but you need to understand that I'm saying, go fuck yourself. That's it. That's how it started. And it snowballed from then on. So, so there's, no, there's no way to resolve it, though. Um, it doesn't look like there's a way to resolve it, but personally, um, like I said, I lost deals. It's just not good for my life, um, for where I am at in life and whatever. So I'm done with it. What I mean by I'm done with it, um, I don't want to speak to him. Um, I don't want to be a fan of him. Um, I will never deny his talent. He's really, really talented. Um, I will, whatever he does. Of course, South African hip hop uh, doing well is always good. But just me as Lesejo, not as DJ Speedster, don't bring that guy next to me. Sure. He, he really, really, I was like, nah. Yeah. Him. Yo, man. <laughs> but still, it still comes back to we all family, family gonna fight. Um, it's gonna be a place where you guys unexpectedly go. You gonna tell him about the deals he lost. He's gonna tell you about. It's just how it goes. This is a long journey. Yeah. And everybody's young. Even if you are 50 years old and you meet up and you have this conversation, um, and that's why I always say, be careful of fighting with people when it's gonna be pointless. Cause one day y'all might just sit and laugh it out. You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, but you hurt, you got to heal also. And he feels how he feels and I guess he either has to heal however he needs to feel he needs to heal. It is what it is, you know? I, I, um, I, I don't think, um, if there's one thing I learned about the industry, you, 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 you don't heal as a person by your achievements. Mm. So you, 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 you mustn't think that you're going to go platinum and go on Netflix and tour around the world and make a song with Drake and Jay-Z and that's you healing where you shitting on me. That's not healing, my friend. You know, so you got to check that out as well. And also just that, that's why I say like, you know, um, uh, these kids call me an OG now, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'm an OG, but... <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy but i've been here for a long time you know i've seen it i've seen a lot of things yeah you know and um for me i've always embraced i've always embraced new talent that's what i do and that's what i love to do so um you, you don't think success is healing mm. Mm. Yo, we're going to wrap it up with that realness. We're going to wrap it up with that realness, you know. What we came here for is the history-making DJ speedster, you know. I mean, like, yo, and we're like close to Diamond with Mayo. Come on. Yo, man, shout out, y'all. We out here at the skate park. Broadcast live.